Hey, Christy Glass here to review my We Are Knitters Nolita sweater pattern. I did the unboxing a little while back, and actually it was a few months ago. I'm only posting this video now because this was a gift for Christmas for my daughter. And I just wanted to talk about uh, We Are Knitters. It was my first time buying a kit from them. And there's a couple of things I wanted to point out. Pause. I've worked with Chunky Knits before, and I really love working with Chunky, Chunky, Chunky yarn. These needles from We Are Knitters are size 19, and I was surprised at how pointy they are. And it took a little while to get used to, because sometimes they would poke in between the actual yarn. But then uh, I tried using some duller needles and found that the point is indeed better. I really love the shape of these needles and I like that it says we are knitters. I just feel like I'm kind of part of a club. It's a super fast knit. It only took me a few nights. It's a very beginner pattern. It's basically knitting two giant squares for the front and the back um, with a tiny notch for the neck. And then these sleeves um, are very are very easy shapes and then you know the square is seamed up and the, the sleeves are attached so it's a fashion it's a look in fact free people is selling this sweater this season very similar sweater it's more of a turtleneck top but it's this chunky bright sort of um, I think their sleeves go down a little farther but very chunky knit sweater for six hundred and fifty dollars I got this kit for it was on sale and it was probably around a hundred or hundred and twenty and just took you know, a small amount of hours to make. So that's definitely less than $650 that you can make this sweater. I blocked it, it took forever to dry. I don't know if I just had it in the wrong spot or what, but um, I felt like because it is a little bit cropped, these sleeves that I needed to block it to try to see if I could um, make it expand. It worked a little bit. I, it's supposed to be a little cropped. Um, all the pictures I see, this is the exact right fit, a little, little cropped here. I mean. This is, my hip bones are here, so it's hitting in the right spot um, in all the places, so it fits really nicely in that way, and it's warm and it's soft. It doesn't feel like those itchy, scratchy wool sweaters that you don't want to wear. Like, I don't have anything underneath this, and it's not, it's, it's not objectionable. I actually could wear it without a t-shirt underneath. And then also, I just have a few notes on the blocking process, what I learned, so I'm gonna insert those right here. Let's talk about the sweater for a second. I'm blocking it in my bathroom because it's a secret gift for Christmas, and I just wanted to point out a few things about this project now that I've blocked it. Um, first of all, this yarn, I don't think it matters that much, but there's there's a little, you have to be careful, because sometimes when you're knitting you can split it and maybe you don't even realize. So, things like that exist in the project. Um, I thought I saw another one. This is a little, looks a little split here. Here's an example. So that's just something you need to be aware of while you're knitting. Like right there, you can see. It's bothering me a little bit. <laughs> and before I blocked it, I noticed where I had picked up the stitches for the collar, there were like a couple of kind of like bigger holes where I picked up. And so I took some yarn and sort of tried to fudge them closed from the, from the inside. I guess you can see, I think that's what's happening here. When I was moving yarn around and so I mean you can kind of still see this one a little bit but I think when it relaxes it's okay this side looks okay okay I mean I'm not totally happy with the seam but that's just sort of the nature of the pattern in this yarn it's just a little bit chunky and blocky and it's a kind of a and it's like a young pattern it doesn't have the finesse of many sweater patterns but then look over here, I don't know what I was thinking or doing, but I did a very bad job of <laughs> connecting this sleeve. It's it's pretty much only the front part. I mean, look at that giant hole, and like the back seems fine. So I don't know what, I mean here, no, I mean, yeah, that that's a little holy. And look, see right there? So I'm, I'm very unhappy with this sleeve now that it's blocked. So I think I'm just gonna go back, I have extra yarn, and just, I'm gonna reinforce this whole sleeve and maybe while I'm at it, I may just, I may reinforce this one too, but this one looks a lot better. So I can't, I don't know if I did this one second or first, I don't, I'm not sure which order I did it in, but this sweater, I'm glad I blocked it because now I can sort of see, oh, this sweater, this sleeve is just gonna pop right off eventually. Um, but those are just my notes on the Nolita sweater post-blocking. 
And I'm just going to insert this into the video as I'm talking about the project. Okay, good. I hope you learned a lot from watching that footage of the blocking process because those are questions that I always have when I'm doing a project. I want to know what other people have experienced. So I'm just putting it out there so that if you uh, find the same troubles or the same issues, you can learn about it here on my channel. So I'm always going to share about my, my projects, my work in progress. I would highly recommend this. If you want to go from knitting scarves to knitting a garment, I highly recommend this pattern. The pattern was written very clearly. There was a couple of things I could tell were more European than American. Like they don't call it gauge. Um, it's, it's another name for it and it's sort of on the back side of the pattern. So it's basically a four inch square equals this, but they say 10 centimeters. So that's something to watch out for, but it's written really well. I mean, there's a couple of English grammar items that are slightly off, but it doesn't, it, you can still understand what they're trying to say. And I'm using the pattern again. Um, I just made it a little smaller since it's such simple shapes. It's easy to sort of just sort of wing it uh, to make a smaller size with more of that big chunky wool, which is so fast to knit with and such a pleasure to knit with also. So if you if, if you have a friend or a loved one who wants a sweater and you're not ready to take to those size four needles, definitely turn to We Are Knitters for a great, chunky, stylish, beautiful, warm, cozy knit. Yeah.